I would like to thank the Supreme Court for this historical decision to restore the 12 MLAs suspended by Maharashtra legislature. It's a tight slap to the MVA government who has acted unconstitutionally and as rightly pointed out by the Supreme Court that they have acted illegally and irrationally. This government, the Maharashtra government has been acting unconstitutionally for a long time and they feel that they are above constitution and that is why they suspended these 12 MLAs for one year on a story created by them. These 12 MLAs were fighting for the rights of OBC community and what was portrayed as happened in the chamber of speaker never happened but was narrated in the house and on the basis of that these people these 12 MLAs were suspended and today with this Supreme Court's decision the Supreme Court has unequivocally said that wherever the legislature will not respect the constitution the court will enter I think the Supreme Court gave one chance to the legislature to correct itself in the last hearing it directed the 12 MLAs to represent themselves to the legislature and allowed legislature to revoke their suspension. But the government which doesn't respect constitution did not act upon it and thereby allowed the Supreme Court to step into the affairs of the legislature and the Supreme Court today has quashed the resolution of Maharashtra Assembly. We would like to demand apology from the government of Maharashtra for its conduct and for keeping these 12 MLAs suspended for more than six months which is a gross injustice against the people who have elected these 12 MLAs. This government which is undemocratic, unconstitutional should apologize. Supreme Court is above everybody. Supreme Court is the custodian of the constitution. And if any decision of the Supreme Court is not complied by the legislature or by the government, it would act as breakdown of constitutional machinery. I think all these ministers and people from MVA who are speaking in such words do not respect the constitution of India.